All right, welcome back to another episode of War of Divisions. Uh, this is going to be Tank Raldor featuring Fleeting Blossom Bouquet, the vision card that gives AP. Uh, what I'm hoping will happen with this vision card is uh, Raldor will first turn Saint uh, Saintly Wall, which will give him enough AP to do uh, Taunting Blade next turn. So that way we can uh, get Taunting Blade off right away on the second turn. And here, Frederica is the fastest, so what she'll do is she'll run right in between them and use uh, Aim Fire. And then normally you won't be able to do Barrage after Aim Fire, but here, because of this card, you'll be able to do Barrage right after Aim Fire. Uh, and Mashiri will also use Bells. So this is going to be a first turn buff, second turn Taunting Blade into Double Barrage build. Hopefully it will work as intended. Uh, I was 97 this morning, now I'm... One th now I'm 336, so that's kind of awkward. Um, let's see, what kind of opponent should I fight? Uh, I don't think Raldor is particularly strong against Missile, and my Platinum Robes isn't maxed out, so uh, it's a little awkward. Um, maybe I'll fight this team. This seems like an okay team to fight. Uh, I guess she is running Evade, but without the Evade cards, I should be able to beat this. Plus, I have double uh, sharpshoot, so I'll be fine. So here, Mashiri is the bruiser. Uh, Farika is going to be long-range DPS with Mashiri. So hopefully, uh, first turn, Farika will do aim fire. Uh, Raldor will run up and use Saintly Wall. And because he's right up front, they'll target him. Hopefully, Ma Raldor won't get one-shotted by magic, though. Uh, and there goes my plan. Uh, well, at least she's dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I didn't get to execute my plan because my opponent came too close. So there's aim fire, but now because I already used that, I don't have that anymore. Well, Taunting Blade just straight up killed somebody, so that's good. Uh, Taunting Blade killed him while I'm a tank. Keep that in mind. Uh, okay, here's a sharpshoot and then a shifting strike probably. Or just regular physical attack. Uh, here, I'm not going for points. I'm just going to do a build that I feel comfortable with and that I think is fun. Uh, the build yesterday, I got a lot of wins. But the problem with the build yesterday is I don't fight enough of these people. Like, I don't... Uh, the problem with yesterday's build was I don't use it enough. In the sense that, like, uh, wow, this is a good fight for me. Uh, in the sense that, like, I don't feel comfortable fighting with that last build, with the full fire team. Because I'm not, I wasn't sure what I was hunting. I was, uh, I was kind of just winging it. And because it was the first day, uh, nobody had their team set up yet. So, I was able to get a couple of quick wins. I don't think it would have last. Uh, so here, and then next turn probably miss, uh, straight up, uh, sharpshoot her. Probably first turn gonna sharpshoot somebody from the Mashiri because she's so slow. So there goes Mashiri's barrage plan. I guess realistically, in order to uh, effectively do my plan, I need to be faster than my opponent. Otherwise, uh, Mashiri with bells don't really work. Wicked pummel, nice. Uh, I was expecting her to jump him. Uh, that Raldor might one shot all my guys. Demon Purger. I don't do any damage to him. There's a jump. Land right on him. Dead. There we go. Okay. Um, and the other reason I'm recording on phone is because my uh, my blue stacks crashed and is giving me a uh, Android is starting bug. So hopefully that doesn't maintain. But if that maintains, I'll probably do a video on it. I'm trying to stay the hell away from Eldira. And the other problem with Mashiri, uh, she's not going to use Bells because first turn she's going to she's gonna use that. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get my team to be fast enough that they will always go first. And then that way uh, I will get the Bells off on Mashiri. Unfortunately, if I'm always going first, uh, I also run the risk of getting hit. So me going second actually does help a little bit. I wonder why my speed is so much slower than it was yesterday. 
I had the speed, I had the 15% speed card, but I was, I think I was closer to 90 yesterday. Um, I probably can fight this team. However, I am quite worried that Ildiro will one-shot Raldor. Uh, actually, if I'm worried that Ildiro will one-shot Raldor, I should run, um, wow, full win team. I should run, uh, a guy on. But I'm too lazy to swap out to a guy on. I have been one-shotted by Ildiro once because I'm so weak to water and I'm also weak to magic. So that is a very likely, uh, that's a very likely one-shot by Ildiro. Here I'm hoping I can one-shot the Ildiro with Federica before Ildiro one-shots me. Okay, Ildiro probably can't hit her. Nice, I got the bells. So that means next turn is going to be double barrage. So that'll be beautiful. Barrage. Hollow Bolt, nice silence. Heal. Taunting Blade, missed, but eh, got the threat off. Barrage, nice. Double barrage. Uh, now we're trying to get the disable. Unfortunately, Federica's out of AP, but she did get uh, 20 AP from using the Vigilance there. So another barrage. Uh, this is probably a sharpshoot. Nice. See, normally I would not be able to do that. Normally, Federica is super AP starved. Here, I got to do. Uh, I got to do everything I wanted. Aim fire into barrage, and then. She does one move and gets enough AP to do one Vigilance and she can do Sharpshoot again. Normally, Vigilance only gives you about 10, which is about half of your AP, uh, which is half your TP. Here, the AP rate is is uh, increased by 50%, which I think is actually 100% because normally it's 50% as well. Uh... I guess these teams are fightable if I use Barrage. But I feel like I'm too weak to Magic to realistically fight them. This is an interesting one. It's a Tank Mashery. This is Tank Agrius. Uh, I think it's probably better. It's probably more interesting that I fight this team. It's a gunner team. I have a tank. She doesn't. But realistically, I don't. I don't really like having Federica in that third slot because I feel like it's wasting the potential of the two fire buffs. Uh, so realistically, I would have rather have uh, Luarta, but the feels too up and the feels too uh, awkward for me to really effectively run Luarta. So that's too bad. Uh, I thought she was gonna barrage me or sharpshoot me. So I'm probably gonna get a barrage next turn uh, from Farika. Nice reflex. He spell spread, ouch. Nice reflex. Oh, double barrage, nice. So here's my barrage. Wow. At least somebody died. So she's out of AP. Uh, I was expecting a Taunting Blade there, but I really should keep my Taunting Blade on. The thing with this build is, if I can get both Barrages off, I should automatically win. So it wouldn't really matter whether or not he gets Taunting Blade off. I also don't really want to turn off all his moves except Taunting Blade, because that would be too awkward. I guess I can keep like Demon Purger and uh, Shifting Strike and that stuff, and just turn off the other thing. Okay, here's another Raldor. Uh, this is probably... This is Evade. Ew. <sighs> I don't really want to fight Evade. Which is funny, because I recommended Evade when this map first came out. I was like, this is probably the revival of Evade. Um, so the thing with this team is... I'm hoping that... Uh, I'm, the, I'm hoping that Sakura is faster than Raldor here. Because if Raldor's faster than Sakura, he's going to eat a limit break to the face. Uh, so if all of them are faster and they don't come straight, I can get my plan off. Ouch, that's unfortunate. Well, that's fine because at least Mashiri will use bells. Normally in my regular setup with uh, the triple gunner, 
I would not be able to do that. Like, I would not be able to have Federica use uh, Sharpshoot first turn. That would completely screw me over. But here, my main DPS is Sakura. Uh, my main DPS is Mashiri. Use a Sharpshoot to the face. Nice. Unfortunately, Sharpshoot the wrong guy. Now I'm going to die. That's a really fast level intention. Probably could have Sharpshoot Sakura and then, uh, and then we shoot down Lu uh, Lucia. Uh... So this would not be a team that I run as a uh, as a ranking team because I don't have that extra vision card bonus. However, this fleeting blossom card is really fun to run. Uh, effectively, it gives me enough AP to uh, enable a lot of things that normally would not be allowed. So that helps. Uh, this is an interesting team to fight. Wonder if they're running full missile resist with that build. Fifty-five missile resist from this card, and the okay. Fire team. Okay, this is probably fightable. I didn't even check their cards, but yeah, it's probably fightable. So this is a type of magic variant. Um, I'm guessing Rain is running magic. That or Rain is tanking and. Raldor's DPS, but I think either way, my Raldor should be able to tank it. Uh, my Raldor just tanked a couple of Sakura's magic hits, so that's probably fine. The thing here is my opponents are usually going to be faster than me because Helena is a bonus card, so people will be running Black Rose. Um, they're not going to be running. Uh, they're not going to be running normal cards. So that is an issue, and the other, and the problem with them running Helena is they run up straight, and I do this kind of crap. Here's a barrage, nice, killed one. Uh, too bad, Kiraga, taunting blade. His taunting blade is missing quite often, even against opponents that aren't, uh, even against opponents that aren't using. Uh, ouch! Holy crap. His Taunting Blade is missing too often, even against opponents that aren't using uh, Evade. So, jump maybe? Nice Barrage. Actually killed him. I was really worried there. Uh, sharpshoot. Sharpshooting the wrong guy though. Jamming Thrust? Nope. Uh, probably heal. Fyraga. That's a Kyuraga, right? Ouch, why you gotta jump? Because he's gonna heal. Crap. Kind of hoping you can do Barrage. Oh, that's a loss. That's maybe a Dragon Dive, but even then, I think even if it's a Dragon Dive, I would still die. Uh, GG. That, that res really screwed me over. Nice. Grab the Crystal. But it doesn't matter, because he's going to heal. Oh, wow. Mashiri coming in with the save. Nice. Very nice. Bells is pretty broken. Uh, it enables things like that. Uh, this person I fight all the time. I feel like I fight him once a day. <laughs> uh, mad shoutouts to Zenendel. He's definitely going to be faster than me here, so I feel like my Federica is going to run up and shoot Agrius first turn, which is not good. Uh, Tanky Raldor is probably okay because he can get really good defense. The problem with Tanky Raldor is... Uh, I, oh, man. The problem with Tanky Raldor... At least she didn't shoot uh, Agrius. The problem with Tanky Raldor is that Raldor um, is very weak to magic, so that doesn't help. Like that. That kind of sucks. Taunting Blade, nice. Into a Barrage. Oh, nice. Triple kill. Mashiri's kicking ass. Uh, I'm seriously considering swapping Bomb out for Odin at this point, because Mashiri's being so crazy. Um, the problem with switching out Odin is if I give Odin to Mashiri... Um, I feel like she would be faster than 
if I had Tetris still fit here. This is 82, 88. Let's see if this is any better. The problem with this build is um, if I'm too fast, uh, I might not be able to get off my, uh, if I'm too fast, I will probably get in the range and get hit. If I'm too slow, uh, I might not end up using that. I might not end up using my bells. This, uh, this bill fighting any kind of, uh, magic is risky, but holy is a dime a dozen. Some type, some variation of holy magic is a dime a dozen, and there's three units that are uh, dual element that you can use holy and some other element. So uh, that's basically Raldor is just not good on this map, or he's just awkward to run on this map because I'm gonna run into a crap ton of magic. I guess maybe I should just have him run. The I guess maybe I should have him run Sentinel, but I don't really want to have him run Sentinel because. Uh, uh, running sentinel means I'm gonna be oh man that didn't kill him well that's a heal taunting blade the problem with running sentinel is I uh nice finally killed a freaking healer uh running sentinel is sentinel has too little AP so because I don't get enough AP uh I get screwed because uh I won't have enough AP to do taunting taunting blade. Holy knight gift. So is she gonna tank? She just walks right up and sharpshoots him in the face. It's like, why would you do that? You have nine range and you decide to walk up and shoot him with a sharpshoot. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you're gonna walk up and aim and arm shot him or something, I can understand. But at any rate, I think this flottom bleed. Uh, I think this Fleeting Blossom Banquet card is actually very, very good. It's enabling a lot of things that I normally would not be able to do. So, it's kind of a niche card, but you really know how to, you really need to know how to use it. And the issue here is most Paladins, uh, because Taunting Blade costs double what Taunting Spell costs, you can't really get Taunting Blade off on the second turn. Uh, sometimes it's the third turn, and generally by the third turn, your characters are already dead. So that's why uh, that's why Taunting Blade is so useful. That's why this Fleeting Blossom is so useful. It's so I can get Taunting Blade up and ready right away. I might get watered here. Okay, no. Good. Probably gonna barrage them, or not. Yeah, okay, I think it's probably safe to barrage here. But I don't have it there. This is a barrage, probably. Nope. Oh, at least one of them is dead. I like the height range on the Taunting Blade, though. But yeah, Raldor cannot tank magic at all. And there's a crap ton of uh, Eldira running around. Because Eldira has holy damage. Well, there's two reasons why Eldira is running around. One is the resist magic spell, and the other reason is uh, the holy damage. And that's partly why, like, you're seeing a little bit more Eldira than you are seeing Little Leela, because of the holy damage. At any rate, we're above 99 now, so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, we'll call it a day after this one. Oh, hey, this guy is um, this guy is the owner of the uh, Every Square Alliance Guild uh, channel, Discord channel. Okay, uh... To honor him, we're going to have a fight. I didn't even look at his cards, but it's fine. We're going to have a fight. Win or lose. Uh, if I win, I close out undefeated today. If I lose, well, at least I lost to a friend. Uh, by the way, thank you for inviting uh, Randall to the Discord channel today. And I think he's, he's, carrying, <laughs> he's carrying troll weapon skins to kind of scare people. Uh, that weapon skin does have me scared. I uh, I think it's uh he makes me think that he actually is using the Fina bow. Wait, is this double quick and Federica? Oh crap! It's double quick and Federica. I better reflex some of these. Oh gg, gg. Uh, if I'm lucky, I might be able to get off a taunting blade and kill him. If not, I'm screwed. Well, at least that works. So now it's just Raldor versus two. 
If I'm lucky, I'll taunting blade and kill both of them, but I don't have the AP. Well, I got I just took five hits, so maybe if I can demon purge or somebody, it'll work. Slow counter, I don't have uh, I can do wicked pummel here, uh, not anymore. I totally forgot that that could have been double quick in Federica. Oh well, uh, good game, Carl, and I stop at ninety nine. All right, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, the Ultimate Chi signing out.